This is Dr. Mohamed Majid. I'm a senior research scientist at the Texas Heart Institute. My lab over the past 10 years have been focused on the triggers of heart attack, especially with focus on influenza and uh, use of influenza vaccine to prevent heart attacks. Um, essentially, we have been covering the topic of uh, triggers for acute coronary syndromes over the past couple of days, where we reviewed a majority, a wide array of the triggers for uh, developing uh, acute cardiovascular events. Essentially, when we are talking about triggers, there's a um, factor can, that can come uh, and cause acute physiologic changes leading to development of an uh, uh, unstable plaque leading to uh, cardiac events. Uh, in other words, there's an acute and chronic phenomenon. Technically, over the past 30 or 40 years, obviously we have focused on the chronic risk factors for atherosclerosis leading to uh, events in the United States, and we have been very successful in doing research, identifying the risk factors, identifying ways to uh, modify it, and uh, proving that they save life. What we have worked not that much on have been working on acute triggers because they are transient changes. Uh, we do not know who's going to get them, but once we get them, they place us at an acute increased risk for a certain period of time, generally about a week or two weeks. Uh, very well known triggers and they are, uh, for example, include earthquakes. You know, Pioneer works by Dr. Cloner and others showed that right after earthquake in San Francisco and later in other places, found that increased rise um, inc a rise in the number of people dying of heart attack. Uh, other uh, triggers known, very well known to the cardiology community, uh, community is use of illicit drugs, especially cooking. And we are all familiar with it in the ER patients coming with uh, you know, adverse effects on the, from the use of these medications. Our work has been focusing on the influenza as a trigger for heart attack. Every, every clinician knows people who got a uh, influenza episode and after three or five days they develop this chest pain and come to the ER with initially thinking that it's pneumonia but actually they present with acute coronary syndrome. The other very well known situation is the people who are working with a uh, compensated heart failure uh, while uh, right after having an influenza pneumonia episode they end up in CC. Uh, we did uh, extensive epidemiological studies, including one uh, study with my colleagues in St. Petersburg, Russia, over um, eight years, looking at 35,000 autopsies. And we showed that during every influenza epidemic, there is a sharp rise in the number of people dying of acute myocardial infarction or ischemic heart disease. And then we asked the question, okay, if the flu causes heart attack, that can uh, flu vaccine prevent heart attack? We did a small study from our group with my colleagues where we were able to show that the receipt of influenza vaccine in people with a prior MI can lead to decrease, a significant decrease in the risk of having a secondary MI. And this um, concept paper proof uh, was uh, pretty much um, confirmed by an avalanche of future studies came afterward essentially showing the same thing, that flu vaccine can prevent cardiovascular events in different population, in uh, different risk groups, and uh, with no adverse effect from cardiovascular point. This led to the change in the American Heart Association and the American College of Cardiology guidelines, uh, where in, the, in 2006, the secondary prevention guidelines uh, released the recommendation that any patient with cardiovascular disease should receive an influenza vaccine. However, as doctors, we are not doing a great job of recommending vaccination to every patient with cardiac disease. Unfortunately, in the United States, only 60% of people with coronary artery disease receive the influenza vaccine. And the uh, national goal uh, defined by the Healthy People 2020 is to have more than 95% of them vaccinated. So that's when we want to send a message to the public and to the cardiologists and all the uh, uh, healthcare workers to continue the uh, work and advocate the influenza vaccine per CDC and ACC and AHA recommendation to all patients with cardiovascular diseases.